good morning everyone this is another session on palm history and i'll be discussing about this palm in this video now obviously in this palm the first thing to be looked at is the bent of the finger right the fingers are bending towards the right if you can see this is the straight line and it's it's kind of bending towards the right hand side and which tends to suggest that the person likes a lot of variety and probably is into uh, you know a lot uh, uh, the person is not a dreamer more realistic and probably the person will like to do a variety of projects or will be happier if the person goes into a lot of projects or does a lot of variety or probably is engaged in many things right now the gap here right again you see between the apollo finger and the mercury finger there is a gap which tends to suggest that the person speaks out so it's it's not that kind of a person which will remain quiet or anything in a in an atmosphere if the person feels that he should or she, she should speak out then it's likely the person will speak out apart from that the person has could uh, the person can be slightly independent because there is a gap between here and you can see this gap to be not much which is again a good sign tends to suggest that the person can save money so so in in fact it's a good marking if you see this gap to be less this gap to be more and this gap to be more right now going about the hand you if you look at the heart line or if you look at the fate line the fate line goes till the end and 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 the fate line goes between the saturn and the jupiter finger it's a very good marking in general i have read a lot about the fate line going in between the saturn and the jupiter job wise the person can do really well if the person pushes himself enough or herself enough into any job line the person will do well and and you know if because it's going between jupiter and saturn this person can can also be responsible at the same time the status will also be important for this person because it's it's in going in between the qualities of both the mounds so uh, jupiter is more towards status saturn is more towards uh, responsibility and if the line goes in between obviously the person will be interested in both status and responsibility and it's a very good marking if the fate line goes in between apart from that general color of the hand looks to be more in pinkish in color which 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 would give the person a lot of warmth and it can also mean a good health indicator in general pinkish palm are supposed to be health wise good and also the person can be very warm hearted and and caring and all those care, all those qualities will be more <coughs> apart from that you can see small lines coming out from here actually they indicate towards spirituality at times these people if you can see between the two fingers a small line is coming out and this person can be spiritually advanced or might be good into spiritual or might be into spirituality or might be uh, more of a spiritual being careful with his words and things like that and that's a good marking in general apart from that if we if we go down to the hand if you if you look at this part specially it looks to be a 90 degree angle right the angle with the thumb and the forefinger tends to suggest the person is very open minded right the person will be more open minded more broad minded in a, in a way will be accepting newer ideas and it's a, again a very good sign apart from that in general the lines are very smooth you do not find any chaining or any other markings right so it's it's a good positive hand to have right it's 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 in general more you see more squarish palm right you see the squarishness coming in which tends to suggest that the person will be more practical and and the person will be more methodical and practical and obviously the mounds are also doing pretty well if you see the protuberance is quite high even if we go down even venus venus is quite developed moon is quite developed tends to suggest that the person will be more productive too in the beginning you can see the fate line going here and then it's a shift it can mean it can mean that when the person was small the person was thinking in one direction suddenly changed his career uh, but this is very early in the life so you know person might not remember but you can clearly see the fate line was going and there's another fate line coming in now if we go towards the mercury line you you know these are mercury lines and and the mercury lines are present on the hand which tends to suggest that the person will have very good uh, you know speaking capability the ability to communicate clearer and and uh, and clearer and with focused uh, focus speaking apart from that it can also mean that the person has overcome his fears it can also indicate that the person has good realization of his nervous system it can mean that the person knows why he is angry or why she is angry why she is upset they have they have very good uh, control over their nervous system apart from that 
they can have good communication skills and they might have overcome a lot of fears and improved their speaking ability going with the headline you see the headline slightly bending right so the person will be practical will not be over creative but yes the person will have a bend of creativity because of the bending of the headline the headline looks comparatively longer so the person will analyze also and the person is likely to be more creative and of course the moon is also slightly developed so you know that this person can be said that he should go into creative things or probably will do well in creative fields and it's it's a good developed amount of moon right now going up above apart from that you can see the hand to be well balanced all the mounts coming in and and the lines very clearly marked and lines are quite dark right if you see the lines are quite dark which tends to suggest that the person is more focused right going with the fingers if you go with the fingers you see the middle finger is protruding quite out and it's quite long and in general it will mean that the person is serious about life uh, is more responsible which is also seen with the fate line with a good fate line coming in so the, this person is likely to be more responsible more serious and more careful and uh, again apollo is longer than uh, the the jupiter so the person will be <coughs> uh, more into creative fields or will have a bent of creativity which we also saw in the case of the headline bending so the person will be more creative again look at the mercury finger which is quite long uh, in the sense it's not very long but it's 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 slightly low i mean it's it's not in the same height as the other three fingers but if we go with the relative length it's quite long which tends to again mean that the person can be good in communication will have intelligence and probably good uh, and witty and and good in mimicking things and again if you look at the phalanges the middle phalanges are quite tall which again tends to suggest that the person is more practical more business minded and and will succeed especially in business or any other practical things right hopefully we got another uh, palm and this is just a sample palm and hopefully you understood few more points from this palm right i'm shutangi to palmistry do check my channel for more thank you take care bye bye